What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Normally I don't do a video this late, but as you read by the title, Russia just invaded Ukraine. This is serious, okay? This is very serious because everything that's going on right now. But I want you to look at this. Right here, this is from Russian's president, uh, Vladimir Putin. He says, I have decided to conduct a special military operation. Russia cannot exist with a constant threat emanating from the territory of Ukraine. Now, look at this picture right here. This is intense. What we're seeing happen right now, and again, this is crazy. This person says, I stand with Ukraine, we stand with Ukraine. Smoke and fire rises in Kharkiv, the northeastern city of Ukraine. You can see it. That's insane. Now, I wanted to bring you this video because what we see happen tomorrow, okay, this is just the beginning. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, okay? I just want to warn you that, and I've been providing these little warnings for you guys for, you know, a little bit. I wish I could tell you everything's going to be okay. Um, but that's probably not the case. This is most likely the worst case scenario. I want to play a video for you. Look at this. Watch this video really quick. There is absolutely nothing diplomatic about launching missiles. That's a, a full-fledged attack. So what we're seeing right now, okay, President Biden, and this is the struggle. President Biden is going to come have to come out and be very, very aggressive, very forceful with what just happened. And I say this because it's not just Russia that's looking at the United States and seeing what we're going to do. China is looking at the United States as well. So one thing I can tell you right now, again, I'm, I'm still processing this. Maybe, maybe you'll probably hear that from my voice. But this is a full-scale invasion. That's exactly what the foreign, uh, foreign uh, minister said in Ukraine as well, that this is a full-scale invasion. Now, Russia, they're going to carry out this, this special military operation. We're going to see what happens. But it's, there's going to be probably there's already a loss of lives. So I just wanted to come on here and just say things are going to be different. Okay. I don't know exactly how, um, I was just in the middle of a workout side. I need to need to stop that and just come on here and, and see what's going on. I know a lot of people, I saw a lot of uh, comments just in the past, probably 30 minutes of, hey, did you see this? What's going on? You know, can you tell us anything about this? What I can tell you is things aren't looking great. Things are, it's, it's a struggle, what we're gonna see. Um, I'm over here looking at the news, watching Twitter feeds of, of what's going on. Um, you know, here's another picture right here, look at this. Nothing about that looks good. It's, it's is serious. Um, now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be up a little bit later tonight doing a bunch of research, uh, trying to figure out <coughs> what, what's going on. What's the next step gonna be? Tomorrow morning, my guess is President Biden is gonna have a, a, a lot to say. Uh, we're gonna probably have, uh, you know, Congress is gonna have to probably get involved. Uh, according to reports today, AOC and about 40 other um, you know, lawmakers want to have a say so in whether or not we decide to, you know, send troops over or not. So things are gonna be different. We're gonna we're gonna see. Uh, just looking at some of these some of these pictures, I'm not gonna show some of them, but looking at some of these pictures, um, it's serious. So again, I'm not gonna take too much of your time. I just wanted to come on here and just say that you know I will be looking into this, seeing what's gonna go on. You know, it's been interesting to see the the steps that have been taken over the past few days but you know russia 
stepped up their game. They are going to try to take back, take take over Ukraine. And it's not just a few cities. It will most likely be all of Ukraine. So, you know, we're going to see what's going on. Um, it's, it's, it's a sad day. It's honestly a sad day because I can tell you right now, people are already losing their lives. Don't know how many, but a lot of innocent people will be losing their lives. So, um, just do what you can to be prepared. <clears throat> That's one of the things I can tell you is things will be changing here in the U.S. Gas prices will most likely be more expensive. Um, I've been saying this for the last week or so, and it's true. Gas prices are already going up. They'll be most likely uh, go up even higher. So, you know, be prepared for that. Drive less if you can. Uh, it won't just help you. It would help a lot of other people as well. Um, Again, I'm still processing this. Uh, I don't know many people over in Ukraine. I know you know a handful of people over in Russia. And it's not just gonna be people in Ukraine that lose their lives, it's gonna be in both, both countries. So again, uh, don't even know where to go from here. But again, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm spend the night processing this, um, looking, looking into this a little bit more, seeing what's going on. I will have a, a bigger update for you guys tomorrow morning. Just want to tell you guys I really appreciate you guys. Um, hopefully everybody uh, you know, all your friends, your family, uh, everybody's safe. But uh, any attack like this, it's tough. So again, just want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully you have a wonderful uh, night. Uh, it's probably night for most of you. Um, but I'll be back on the morning. So again, uh, thank you guys for watching. and I'll see you guys on the next one.